you will be surprised how easy it is to make delicious homemade custard. Once you try this homemade custard recipe, you may never go back to store-bought custard again. Just look how delicious and silky smooth it is. You probably already have all the ingredients that you need to make this homemade custard in your kitchen pantry. Let's get started, home bakers. You want to get a saucepan that you're going to use to cook your custard. First of all, you're going to put your milk into the saucepan and then we're going to add some vanilla flavoring. So I like to use a vanilla pod. Uh, if you don't have this, then you can just use vanilla extract. But using the pod gets you all the vanilla flavor inside. So you want to half your vanilla pod and scrape up all that vanilla bean into your milk. And I also like to put the actual pod into the milk as that also has quite a lot of flavor. Once you've done that, you want to heat the milk up on your stove on low heat until it's simmering. While the milk is heating up, you want to prepare the next step. So you get your egg yolks into a bowl. You're going to add granulated white sugar and you're going to add cornstarch. And then you're going to mix that up, whip it nicely until it's nice and smooth. Now, don't forget, check in the description section. I'll put the quantities of everything that you need for making this recipe. So now your milk should have um, boiled. You don't want it to overheat. You just want it to be hot enough when you start to see bubbles around the edge. You're going to then pour the heated milk into the um, yolk mixture. I like to use a strainer so that get gets rid of uh, all the bits of, of the vanilla pods. I don't quite like that into my custard. Add it in batches and mixing and whipping it up each time until you've finally poured all the um, heated milk into the mixture. Uh, mix it up really, really nice and good until it's well mixed. And the next step is you're going to put all of that uh, mixture back into uh, your saucepan and you're going to then do the cooking process. Now, if you haven't subscribed, can I ask you to take a minute to subscribe? I post lots of shorts and uh, videos that will help you learn how to make and decorate amazing cakes. Now, once your um, custard mixture is on the stove, you don't want to take your eye off it. You want to constantly be whisking and mixing it up as it starts thickening up. If you don't whisk it, it will become lumpy and congealed. And that's not what you want. You want to keep mixing and whisking until it's nicely formed. And as you can see, it's starting to thicken up. You don't want it to overcook. Once you start to see bubbles forming into the custard, that is your cue that your custard is nicely done. Now, if your ratio is slightly off and you think that your custard is too thin, you can just mix a little bit of cornstarch with water and use that as a thickener to thicken up. Now, you can also add extra vanilla extract if you want, just to make it really, really delicious. And there you have it. Your custard is all ready. Here are some top tips to make your custard perfect. First of all, stick to the quantity of the ingredients in the description section. This is not the time to be guessing. Weigh them properly and use the right amount of ingredients. When you are adding the warm milk to your egg, do that in batches and whisk thoroughly so that the egg doesn't become scrambled. And the key important thing to having smooth custard is once you start to cook the custard mixture, first of all, you want to cook it on low medium heat and you want to be constantly stirring so that it doesn't become lumpy. So I hope that you're able to make perfect custard at home. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Dr. Mommy Cakes. Happy cooking!